Finally, Moondrop Blessing 3. Yes, today's video will talk about and review the Blessing 3, compare it to the Blessing 2 Dust and the original Blessing 2, and also the Soft Ears Studio 4. Why not? Let's jump into it. Hey friends, team, welcome back to another guest audio. Today we have the Blessing 3 by Moondrop, the upgraded Blessing 2 finally. The Blessing 2 and 2 Dust both are legendary in the community. I don't think those two IMs needs any kind of introduction whatsoever. The B2 Dust in particular is one of the IMs that competes really well with IMs even in the $750 to $1,000 bracket. The tuning on the B2 Dust is just very balanced, neutral, good bass response, natural sounding mid-range, and good treble. Now, it's not a perfect IM. It has some flaws. The treble might be a little bit too tame, lacks a little bit of sparkle. The bass can use more punching the B2 original, that one is also good, not nearly as good as the dust, I would say, but for the time that it was released, it was genuinely a great IM. Now, the B3. Does this dethrone the B2 and the dust? The short answer is yes. The long answer, let's jump into the sound breakdown. Starting with the bass, you get less bass than the Blessing 2 does. But in trade-off for the power, you get better dynamics. It's noticeably more distinct in its punches. It's not as blunt as the Blessing 2 does, but you do get quite a bit less power. So it's not really utilizing that great dynamic to its full potential if you will. Now, besides great dynamics, it's also very clean. Now, not as clean as the Moondrop variation, which can come across a little bit thin. The B3 doesn't have that level of thinness. It might be thin to some of you guys out there, but for most people, I don't think so. It's just gonna sound really nice, well-controlled, clean, so vocals and instruments that live in the lower mid-range are not muddied up or warmed up in any way by the bass, which I think is fantastic. Now on to the mid-range, just as beautiful as on the Blessing 2 Dust. Very natural, slightly bit energetic, not in any way shouty, just a beautiful sounding, correct sounding mid-range. Now it can be and might be too shouty or slightly bit thin, like I said, to select group of people who are extra sensitive to the upper frequencies, but those are very few from my experience in the community. For most of you out there, it's gonna sound very natural and sound very beautiful. Next is the treble area, and this is where I find the biggest improvements in the B3 in comparison to the B2 and the B2 Dust. The B2 original has treble that is very forward, especially in the lower treble. It can come across grainy, harsh, the timbre not as natural, hence why I don't think the B2 is as good as the Dust, and the Dust has good treble, really nice natural decay, but the air region could use some work. So micro details don't come across as clean or as forward on the dust. The Blessing 3 keeps the natural decay of the lower treble that is in the dust, but add more air to the treble. So micro details more forward and generally sound more detailed than the dust version. Couple that with the fact that the bass is also reduced so you get an overall more vocal forward, treble forward signature than you do on the dust. Speaking of details, let's next talk about technical performance. Let's bring up my scale right here and I would say the B3 lands comfortably around a timeless or a little bit above the timeless. It is a very resolving IEM. It's not top tier for only one reason and that is micro details. It has it, yes, but it's not as well separated as I want it to, or at least not as well separated as some of the end game IEMs. It has micro details. It just lacks a half step or two of just incisiveness, separation, that's it. But the rest of it is fantastic. Soundstage perception is very wide because of the reduced bass, clean lower mid-range and boosted air. You get an expansive soundstage, which is gonna be very enjoyable to most listeners. And that's gonna be kind of the wow factor when you first listen to The Blessing 3. Moving on, we have comparison versus the original Blessing 2, The Dust and Studio 4. So let's start with the original first. The Blessing 2 versus The Blessing 3, there's no competition. The Blessing 3 has cleaner lower mid-range, more dynamic bass, better 
lower treble performance, so better timbre, and also just as good level of air. So B3 is an upgrade to B2 in every given way. So big thumbs up there. Versus the Blessing 2, it's a little bit less clear. The reason to get the dust over the 3 is if you want a more balanced signature. You want more bass. Even though the bass quality, again, is not as good as the Blessing 3, you do get more of it. And in terms of bass satisfaction overall, the B2 dust will sound more satisfying. Sure, Blessing 3 is punchy, but again, the quantity kind of lets it down if if you're into bass that is right there's a lot of people who are not into that much bass but for those of you who are i would say the b2 dust is still the way to go but if you don't care about bass you want vocal forward you want details blessing three is better comparison to studio four now studio four is a benchmark i am for me under 500 dollars is my favorite i am timbre is very beautiful good levels of details as well and has a mid-range that is just natural natural anti-shout tamer tuning good bass response even for a ba iem just an all-around fantastic iem and versus the blessing three i would say the studio four is about a half step better not a full step better but a half step better and that is because the studio four just sounds more balanced out to me there's more fullness in the bass which i appreciate the blessing three is a little bit thin in comparison to the studio four and the timbre even though the blessing three has beautiful timbre the studio four has a half step better timbre than the blessing three so the differences aren't big but if i have to pick one over the other i would still pick studio four but it easily swings either way depending on your taste you might like blessing three more than studio four you know because again the differences aren't that big which speaks volumes about the blessing three's overall performance to be 320 dollars and competes well with the benchmark i am that's at 450 dollars the blessing three it's just an impressive IEM. Thank you, Moondrop, for finally releasing a good one. As you may notice, I'm a little bit more excited in this video because I love Moondrop. But their previous few releases have been just underwhelming. We have Stellaris, we have Quirks, which is good, but DSP. We have Droplet, which is good, but $50 and DSP. And we have Lawn, which is just a better shoe, which we don't really need in the market. Finally. Finally, Blessing 3, a winner for Moondrop. Two big thumbs up from me. Highly recommended for the price. It is a killer. And with all that being said, thank you so much for watching this video all the way till the end. I would like to thank all my Patreon members. Now, for the $9 tier, we have Bar, Chadwick, K, Norm, Robert, Sunny Roll, $18 tier. We have Dr. P, Go to 10 Kirk, Mason, Paul, and Zar. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you want to support the channel yourself, link to Patreon is down below. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! And bye.